Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. Okay, I'm getting ready to do something um, different. Um, I guess this, was, this is going to be my morning before I work from home ride. You know, I had started riding my bike to work um, a couple of times a week, but since I work from home, I hadn't been doing it. But the weather is nice. The weather has broken down here, and I want to start getting up, riding in the morning before I work from home. <laughs> riding from home before I work from home. Okay, I'm, well, I'm glad I take this because I realized I just left my helmet. So I got to go back in, get my helmet, and off I go. And we'll see with my GoPro. We'll see with my GoPro lasts for the whole ride. I did charge it up so it has a 100% charge. I hadn't used it, so we'll see what happens. Is it a GoPro or is it me? Okay. Hey, one thing I notice I like about riding in the early morning is the um, sunrise. It's really pretty out there this time of my morning. And it's fairly cool too. Yeah, you saw a creek there. On this ride here, for some reason or other, I wanted to stop at Starbucks and get a cup of coffee. It really wasn't that cool. I think what it was, um, I'm used to having a cup of coffee in the morning, but I stay in the house. I never had a cup of coffee and get back on the bike and ride at you know, this time of year, but whatever, this morning I wanted a cup of coffee. And I'm gonna go between the buildings here. There's a Starbucks in between these buildings. Coffee, coffee. There's the Starbucks right there. Hey, making a pit stop. Hey, however, but to my surprise, well, not to my surprise, I just wasn't thinking about it. And actually, you need a mask on. And I did not have a mask. You see the little trifold sign there on the sidewalk? I start walking toward it, and you needed a mask. And I didn't have a mask. Oh well. So I took a squig of water and off I go. I didn't need the coffee anyway because it was rather warm. Well, not cold, but you know, warm. See, I had my short sleeves and my shorts on. It wasn't chilly at all, it was just nice. Probably would have, probably would have regretted drinking coffee. But I'm headed back in now, and that Starbucks is like the halfway point. What is that in the road? Duck, ducks? No, geese. Yeah, they own the road. Everyone stops for them. Yeah, like I said, you never know what you're gonna see in the morning. All right, I'm gonna head on back in. I'll finish. Not bad for an old man, right? Okay, I made it back. And believe it or not, I think my GoPro uh, made, made it the whole trip. So maybe it was a user error all this time. I just wasn't charging it. Anyway, this is a pretty good little ride. Um, I did about 19, 20 miles. So that was pretty good in the morning. Uh, so okay, well on to the next stop. Okay, as you can see, my glucose levels ticked up a little bit from the last time. I guess I took the Father's Day celebration out. You know, I did too much. What the one thing it shows how intricate with what I eat, how quickly it shows up in your bloodstream and can throw your glucose levels off. Um, that's one thing. Like I said, I'm trying to control diabetes. That's one thing I've learned. It really is for a type two diabetic. It really is what you eat. Also, I got a chance to talk to one of my friend's son. He graduated from college probably a year or so ago, if not that long. And now he's um, out here in the real world working with the rest of us. So I saw him. I asked him how things were going. 
And basically he said um, he was still working, working from home. Um, he's still living at home, so he says he's working from home. The only thing he says is a drag because he works in the same room where he sleeps. Uh, basically he said, yeah, I get up, go turn on my computer. Till I go to bed, you know, if I don't go to bed, I'm still in the room. He said, it's kind of getting to me. I, I'm just in this room all the time. Uh, he's a young guy, what have you, so I kind of reminded him how blessed he was that he has a job. You know, um, a lot of people are unemployed now, what have you, but he has a job, and his complaint was he's in the room all the time. You know, after a couple of days, you know, I thought about that thing. I really kind of real now I realize where he was coming from. I guess we really have to take care of our mental. I guess in his case, you know, he's living in his parents' house in his bedroom. That's where he's working out of his room. You know, I know kids like to stay in their room anyway, but I guess being in your room for 24-7 only to come out and get a bite to eat or occasionally is getting to be too much. That can be too much for anyone. Even though I'm not quarantined to a particular room, but to be in quarantine at home, we have to remember to take care of our mental. Uh, one thing I did, um, really just take a day off. Even if you're not going anywhere, just take a day off. Break up the routine. Uh, my routine is get up, I walk about maybe 15 feet to my computer, turn that on, look at it. Then I'm usually working there, go get a cup of coffee, come back upstairs, go back to my computer. After a couple of re weeks, I realized what I was doing. Um, I said, okay, I have to break this thing up. And I'm quite some of you have done the same thing too. Um, take a break. Even if you're not going anywhere, break up your routine. Instead of getting up at whatever time you normally get up to work, stay in bed longer. You know, if you're not one of the ones that like to sleep late, don't, when you do get up, get up at the same time, but don't turn on your computer. Matter of fact, when I took my time off, I did not turn on my work computer at all. Don't turn it on. Uh, I didn't go anywhere, just don't turn it on. Um, do something different. If you like reading books, get a real book to read. You know, a book with pages. You know, where you turn, uh, what have you. Not on the computer, not on your Kindle. Get a real book. You know, kind of change things up. If your office um, is in your bedroom or what have you, get out of that space. Go somewhere else. Um, if your office is in your dining room, get out of that space. Where your office is, try to stay out of that space as much as possible. Go outside, sit on the patio if you have a patio. Let's do something um, different. Um, if you like doing things, figuring things out, puzzles and games, get a real puzzle. Not a puzzle online, what have you. A real puzzle with real pieces. Spread them out over your um, dining room table and put it together. Break up the monotony. If you haven't been outside much, go outside. Um, sit outside. It's nice in most places. I know some places it's really burning up. But you get the point. Uh, break up the monotony. Do something different. Take care of your mental. And if all of that doesn't sound appealing, just get in your car and drive. Fill it up. Hit tank full of gas. Fill your car up and drive. Um, you don't have to get out or what have you. you. Just drive around. Look at the sights. This place you haven't been in a long time. If you live on the shores, on the shoreline or something, drive up the shoreline or what have you. Just get out. Break up the monotony. Break up the monotony. Um, do something um, different because during this time of being quarantined at home, it really can uh, mess up your mental. And I think I missed the chance of talking with my friend's son to kind of give him the advice to break things up a little bit, come out of his room and what have you. And I hate I missed that. Yes, I truly believe without a shadow of a doubt, he is blessed to have a job, uh, what have you, have a place to stay, have a roof over his head. And let's not never, never lose sight of that. But I also missed the opportunity to tell them to take care of his mental, to change things up a little bit. So because I missed that chance to tell them that, I shared it with you. Alright, and things are opening up a little bit in some states. Just like I've always said, just because they are opening up doesn't mean you have to go out there. Um, you can do something different, break up the monotony. You don't have to go to um, a barbershop. You don't have to go to um, get your pedicure, or go to a bowling alley, go to a movie theater. Or what have you, you can do some other things to break up the monotony where you can still practice social distance and not putting your health at risk. Especially if you like someone at me, you managing the illness and you're part of that high risk category. Hey, stay safe. All right, on to the next stop. Okay, I'm getting ready to fix something to eat. 
Um, as you know, I don't like cooking. I hate cooking, I really do, but I can follow a recipe. And the recipes I normally follow are very, very, very simple. But I think uh, this evening I broke my own rule of a simple recipe. This recipe um, it has a lot going on. As a matter of fact, it has so much going on. I did the slicing, the preparation, whatever they call that, sous chefing. I did all that prior to um, starting the videotape. I don't think I'll be trying this again unless it ends up being very, very good. But I don't think I'll end up trying this again. This was a little bit too much work for me, too much like cooking. All right, I'm trying a shrimp burger. Um, this recipe comes out of the New York Times. Um, I tried to go back in and what you call it, go back in and post a link to it in the um, in the description. But in, you know how those New York Times and Washington Post they want you to yeah, someone coming in the door. They want you to uh, subscribe. So anyway, um, here I go. Okay, I finished. Actually, I think this ended up being an epic fail. Actually, um, as you saw in the picture, the burger ended up losing its shape. It's more like Sloppy Joe's instead of a hamburger. I guess, note to self, um, I got, like I said, I got this recipe from the New York Times, and it was one of those articles where if you go in there too many times, they want you to subscribe. So I didn't get a chance to see the comments. So note to self, never follow another recipe if I can't read the comments because a lot of time in the comments people give you hints and this one didn't have any panko or egg or nothing to hold it together so this thing just fell apart but anyway let me see how it tastes actually it tastes pretty good Extra taste, taste pretty good. I will try this again. Um, try to make it look like a burger the next time, but I'll probably get another recipe. Okay, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.